right, so now we are experimenting with combos. I just brought this uh, in here for now. We have actually the uh, the radial amps extender thing coming, but uh, say hello to Taylor. Taylor is now a part of the crew. All right, so yeah, and Doug brought by a bunch of uh, ribbon mics for us to test for this uh, our amp thingy. What is that? Is that the this, these are those new Shures, I think that are the designs of Crowley and Trip. Yeah, like a 353 and a 313. Yeah, there's a 3 313. Yeah, there you go. Cool. And yeah, it looks like an AEA. You too. Awesome. Oh, it's fired up. Yes, we just uh, recorded the Sure 313. Now we're going to replace that and put the 353 in there. These look like, um, I'm trying to think what these, these remind me of. Oh, you know what these remind me of? The uh, Bach 151. It's that same kind of body style or something. Nice. Uh, yeah, just to show the ammo, I guess, is facing out. Yeah, there you go. There you have it. We're also going to pop this uh, R92 on there. And uh, an SM7. He's got kind of a basic, balanced, clean sound for... Uh, yeah, if that hangs a little lower, yeah. which it looks like it, Raise up the mic stand just a hair. Let's try to get it in the same spot right off that cone. Let me get you that flashlight. Yeah, so here's the uh, Sure 313. This is on my, uh, sorry about that. This is on my Super Reverb. Just on about four, nothing cranked. All the dials about noon. No reverb, no, no tremolo or anything. <laughs> It's a little out of tune. I should have tuned the guitar, but I just picked it up and started recording. That's between the two pickups. Sounds great. And now here is the 353. What's weird? My first impression is the 353 sounds a little more, a little bigger, and a little bit more. There's like more kind of everything, a little more around the notes, a little more air, a little more space. Um, but the 313, I like the way it actually sounds, and it's more direct. And I'm hearing like a, kind of a clear. I'm getting a clearer understanding of the playing more so than the 353. Yeah, and 313. I actually like the 313. It's got a little bit less low end, but I kind of like that. Huh. Crazy. All right. Now he's putting on the old uh, AEA R92. How you doing over there, Taylor? Doing good. Taylor is known as the GC doorman. <laughs> <laughs> you try to steal anything from GC, man, he's going to catch you and he's going to hit you over the head with his nine string metal guitar. <laughs> he's all excited because Ola's sending us DIs for our amp event. Yeah, man. We like Taylor. He's been teaching me Final Cut Pro X <laughs> 10 to its third power. Good guy. I'll just do an SM7 in there. So here is the, um, the 313.
17 again. Let me turn this down a little bit. And then here's that R92, the AEA. It's nice, it's warm. All right, let's try that SM7. Yeah, so I realized too that on this I had in the beginning of that 313 I was playing on the bridge, which all the other ones I started in between. So that was why it sounded a little different. But anyway, so here's like the 313. Mm -hmm. Now it's hard to hear and just on the camera. Here's the 353. That's nice, the R92. SM7, super thin, SC3000, I think it's the AKG. Pretty, but this is really, this is really elegant and pretty. This is really cool sounding. This is like a... Ribbon mics are awesome. All right, what do we got now? Byer M160. Yep. All right, let's try it. It's like a half and half. Yeah. It's it's this is very scientific. Here's a 57. That's nice. It's so 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 thin compared to compared to some of the others. Here's the 160. Yeah. I think on the 57. I don't think if I was, if I was, if I was to use a 57, it would be further away from the center dust cap. Here's that 313. It's got a urt to it. It's nice. It's got a in music we call it a girk. <laughs> nice. I think I put it in ribbon mode. So we just popped on an SM57, which was kind of eh, sounding. And a lot, the loud Atlantis. I mean, is there anything that Mike is not totally awesome at? It sounds killer on the cab. And here's the Shure 313. I love that too. That's got a great sound too. R92. M160s, the Biodynamics. It's not bad. I don't, I don't know, that, that, that mic doesn't really blow me, blow me away on uh, on guitars. Here's a 57. Woo! It's like you could do the fix. Like what was that song they had? Ting, ting, one thing leads to another you know that real like police kind of bright you know it's like sounds like walking on the moon or something uh, Atlantis that's nice and big and then 313 wow I love that sound that's awesome sound it's really a great sounding mic awesome so there's a little just a little quick test on a bunch of mics because for our 2013 amp recording fest we're gonna have combos here we're gonna, we're gonna do it right man mics uh furnished by doug it's out here all right so we're popping that uh 313 back on there. 
And I guess it's sure, but it's it's the design of the Crowley and Trip guys. Well, I met them a few a few AESs ago, and man, their mics are awesome. So I think these are the same mics as like a Diablo or Hell Schmagaggy. I don't know what they're called, something like that. So, 313, we just reset it up, re recorded it. Just fantastic. Just fantastic. And here's the Atlantis. And this is just, I think, ribbon mode. They're both fantastic. The Atlantis is a little uh, kind of warmer and not warmer, but it's a little, it's a, I don't know, it, it's like, uh, it's, it's a little more like inviting where the, the 313 is a little bit more intense. 313, more subtle, more subtle exactly. Yeah. Hey, say hello, Meredith, Hi. Meredith Mansion <laughs> in the Hizu. Um, yeah, you can really hear it on the finger picking part. Here's the 313. <laughs> Here in the room, it literally sounds like I'm playing right in front of you. And then the Atlantis, same part. It doesn't, it's, it doesn't quite, it's not the same thing. So they're both great. I think the Atlantis would work better on a song where the guitar is kind of a part of the song and really it's all about that vocal, where the 313 would really, really shine on a song where like the guitar riff is like kind of the centerpiece of the song. Because the 313 is just demands you. That's just killer. That is just absolutely killer. Yeah, that is just killer. Let me turn the Atlantis up just a touch. Try to get these always. And then 313. Yeah, there's something going on in that upper mid of that 313 that's really making it just like sing, man. That is nice. What do you think, Taylor? I love the 313. Vivaldi, the, the Paganini. First, the first mic we broke out. Right, huh? Isn't that first funny? Mic. First mic we broke out. I like yeah, that. it sounds great, man. It looks cool, too. Mm -hmm. It's a little smaller, too, which sometimes is nicer. So you get into those bigger mics that are paying the butt to figure out where to put them. Cool. The beginning of the combo scenario. <laughs> Should we end the video with a chick? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Narrative matching from What's Gibson. That, there it is. There's that 313. I'm an AC30 and it sounds so good. Just a little bit kind of on the edge off the dust cap going more into the, the cone. Really sounds nice. Getting levels. So uh, telly on the left, my yellow telly on the left, and my WCR Paul on the right. <laughs> through the cabs in the back mm -hmm. and it just it, it doesn't sound right it's just better like that there just it is its own, its own cab. yeah just well, yeah just on its own with its own open because it's the open back 212 and it comes with greenbacks uh, slush and greenbacks in its stock <laughs>